this shit? Grand Dad! Alright everybody, so we have a game here called uh, They Are Here. Uh, this is recommended to me, and it is apparently a UFO alien abductions game. Last time I played this, I played an OVNI abductions game, and it was literally that that trope that I hate. You know, scary atmosphere, suddenly, ch -ch -ch, it's time to fuck. So, uh, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of that. The game was funny, though, but, like, for the wrong reasons, essentially. Um, but this game is apparently just a spooky game that's built on atmosphere and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll see. But, uh, you know what. Uh, is it gonna be Signal Simulator? I don't know about that, but I'll tell you this. If this game can supply a creepy atmosphere and it doesn't show too much, there's just sounds and like atmosphere. That'll get to me, you know. But as soon as I'm given a gun, ch -ch, HP bar, and boom, wah, ba, boom, wah, ba, 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 ba. no stock assets, it's a game that's crafted with love, then I'll be into it. But we'll see. All right, well, anyway, uh, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna start this up and see what it's all about. Uh, you know what? Uh, here we go. They are here. This is a demo, by the way. It's just a demo. So, you know. All right. Here we go. Ooh, I like the menu. Oh, man. Look at this. All right. All right. You know, I did uh, Joel Forever Chasing That High. I don't think it'll be any anything will never get me as much as Signal Simulator because several hours of nothing happening, and since something does happen in the middle of the night, that's scary. Yeah. And uh, you know, you know it. Uh, anyway, let's give it a try. That's a little loud, so let me take it down. Unexplained phenomenon occurred at Gracewood Farm on the night of the August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at a breakneck speed over the cornfield. The light moved in a random direction at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bite him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? A deliberate deception? Drawings at, drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Gracewood Farm. Gracewood? Uh, right. To take a photo and make it a report for a local newspaper. All right. I have high hopes. Don't, don't screw with me now. You know... I know, I see Times New Roman, but, uh, you know. Uh, all right. Right. Well, so far, a little creepy. It's a little creepy so far. This game reminds me a little bit of a game called Grey Fear that a fan made. That was just for me, but, uh. All right, news. Don't I have a crew? Oh boy. See? Oh. Okay, so these are the Phoenix lights or whatever you call it. This is a great material for a news report. Too. Right. Right. Okay. At this point, you get the fuck out of here, okay? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. But guys, you know what the scariest part is? These three lights in the sky is joined with a fourth one! Okay, the stupid joke. <laughs> Why am I scared of aliens? Uh, mainly because I had... Uh, some weird childhood trauma where I saw a UFO in broad daylight and it was clearly a UFO and it really shattered my perception of reality where like uh, 
does this mean that everybody who's ever had an alien abduction case weren't lying you know so Joel, that was a helicopter yep it's pretty creep okay it's getting to me it's getting i thought it was a gray face there okay that scared me that did scare me okay farmer's note mr fox we made an appointment but something bad happened our daughter went missing my wife went to town for help and my son and i went to check out on the farm we'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other be careful peter sherman okay this is this is this is pretty fucking creepy I, I, oh, oh man it's oh man it's 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 pretty damn good so so i i said this years ago i was playing um i was playing uh what do you call it uh, who is it I was playing a game on uh, dreams on PlayStation 4, and I said, like, my f my dream horror game would be a game where you're just in a house, and you, you just, like, take a piss in the middle of the night, and you look up in the mirror, and there's just something behind you, and you're like, what the, what is that? And it's just like a shadowy figure, you know? Don't show too much, you know? And there's just a light outside the window and stuff like that, so... Okay, old newspaper. Mystery sky object seen here. Down to earth approach of alien visitors. How's my stocks doing? They saw something strange. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena has been has been seen throughout the state for a long time. Maybe the aliens want milk. Ah! Ugh! Hell no, hell fucking no! Oh my Jesus! It's reminding me of that movie with uh, called Com Communion, with uh, Dead Zone. What is he called? The actor, my God, uh, stalling. Yeah, I am a little spooked. What is he fucking called? Please, Christopher Walken. Yes, and there's an alien in the. Oh man. Okay, first of all, we have this alien, and then we have Maricianito on the right. You know, they're collaborating. Okay, I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Grace. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can describe in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair. <laughs> bottomless, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs, and sharp claw claws. Claws! No, 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 no. Their voices are like nothing else, okay? The assailants are very aggressive towards people. No, 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 no. Now you're losing me. Now you're losing me. All right. It should not be. No. Should not have another agenda. It shouldn't be. No, no, no. It also has bright lights in the sky near home, which moves along a certain way. I'm just very picky because this might be my dream game. Then people start to have a nosebleed. Have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears. Animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. Appears when they don't remember anything. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road, a few kilometers away from their home. Some of them have flashbacks or have terrible memories. People remember terrifying experience. The aliens establish control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palpitation, it feels like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Nothing yet. But here we go. Creepy fucking grace. Dude, that's just, that's just the that's just a toe man. This guy who steals your toes, you know. Alright, farmer children's there, there okay. Found my whole area. How could I forget that there it takes? Today was the most exciting scares in my I saw the aliens. Okay. 
My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier to the river. Suddenly, I was defeated by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on a table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked out home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts in my body and two small, very sharp, very smooth holes behind my ears. Okay. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Ugh. Uh oh, there's gonna be something standing. Oh, I still, I'm still spooked. I'm still spooked by this. All right, because it's the moment where I don't see it, you know, and then it happens, and then I'm like, you know. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Fuck's sake. Ugh. I hate it. I hate this shit. Child's drawing, yeah. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. This leaf is painted on both sides. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, well, first, up, first of all, the race don't kill. Alright. Check the bathroom. I'm not checking the fucking bath. Oh, Jesus. Ugh, dude, if they put a grate in the window, I will fucking scream. <laughs> Walkie talkie. Apparently, it belongs to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange. Man! That is. Hell no! Okay, yeah. I hate this. 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 I hate this, man. Jesus Christ, man. See, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is fucking horror for me, you know? Okay, not working. I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna shit. You're getting the fuck out of here, okay? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Uh, absolutely not, man. Not cool. Drive the fuck out of here now, okay? For fuck's sake, man. Fuck's sake. No, no. Unlock this fucking door. <laughs> no, 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 no. You left the paper in the room. I don't want to go back. Okay, uh, for fuck's sake. Blah. I hate this. I hate this. I am spooked fucking solid. Okay, uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, caca. Christ on the cross. I mean, the, the game has some faults, but the atmosphere is like 10 out of 10. Oh, I, I hate this. I hate this. Dude, if something like it drops in my apartment, I will fucking urinate. I will piss out of my fucking skin, all right? I'll explode with urine. Like, there's gonna be, like, blood and piss and puke, and, like, I will... Every orifice will be... Oh, God. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise when I came in. She wasn't in her bed, and the windows was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Ah! That's cool. <coughs> uh -uh. Hide underneath the pig, 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 help me. Pig, help me in these trying times. <sighs> I, I, I can't fucking do this. I'm clocking out. It's too spooky. All right. Okay, no, 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 no. I. <laughs>
<laughs> Hell no! Hell no! Okay. I, seriously, I keep pausing here, but... Oh, Jesus! Okay, we're just gonna get the fuck out of here now, okay? I'm donezo. Oh god. Oh hell fucking no. I dude, I I dude, I seriously shivers in my f oh, I can't do this. I am I am dead ass. This is getting under my skin, dude. It's fucking goosebumps like Oh my god. Okay. As a child, Headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but... Oh, God. But no one could explain the reason for the occurrences. And recently, strange, unpleasant tingling sensations in the back of my head have started as well. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction. Well, I only remember the alien abductions when I found my old area, okay? It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed and behind the ear was a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I would definitely decided I would go get it. I'm not crazy. A little jar with strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut an alien implant from behind his ear. Right. This is a great material for a news report. Okay. If you put an alien in the window, I, I'm gonna scream, okay? I'm, I'm gonna yell and shit. <laughs> truly, truly, the scary has begun. Did e even even while we're doing this, it's scary as hell. Joel outside. Okay, I'm 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 just gonna go. Okay, yeah. I've had enough. 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 Oh. No, no. All right. Listen, I, I've just had enough. I've had enough. We're going home. Okay, and that's my cue to leave. I'm getting out of here. Okay, thank you. I'm, I'm good. I'm gravy. I had enough of this. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are we driving? We driving? And of course the car doesn't work now, does it? No, don't show it. Don't show it. No, no, you had me so good. Don't don't show it. Not like this. Okay, that that's good, but don't show the top. Like it can't look like the 40s, you know. Like this is the the on the verge of getting to Marcianito, you know. How about you floor it? Okay, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Hey! Hell no! <laughs> Hell no! Jesus Christ! Demo, in the full game, you will find a large territory of Gracewood farm and a full store of an ale and abduction. Add the game to your wishlist so you don't miss a disconnect. Okay, this was pretty good. This was pretty damn good.
it, th this had me fucking spooked. Um, I would say uh, I, I could tell, like, get all the items and get scripted, you know, but I really was scared by this. Uh, the only thing that would have made it scarier, right? If this developer is, is watching whatever, whatever, right now, whatever, um, here's what you do, right? Have you read journal entries that's very long? And while you're reading it, because it's going to be long, the alien grabs your shoulder and turns you around and just stares at you. So while you're reading and getting invested, I'm like, eh, that date, and suddenly it's, you know, oh! <laughs> You know, and on top of that, put put the gray staring into the window. You know, ah, oh, you know. But I like this. I like this. Uh, there's some stuff that I personally would feel would be better. Grays are creepy and weird when they don't have like a like a human goal because they're aliens. You know, so when they're like we're killing the dogs or like we have claws, like it makes them too humanized ironically like they're too earthy they have like some sort of goal in mind but scary about them is that if they're just like entities that are unexplained you know that's creepy because that's you can't explain it like what what the hell is up with them you know so um reduce the whole thing about them being evil like i don't like that you know so uh just have it be unexplained weird and you know uh on top of that i would probably say uh don't show the ufo you know um, uh, just have it be like lights and sounds and stuff like that i'm basically just trying to describe my p favorite like game that could be done here and this game has real big potential real fucking big potential and i want to see this game totally like fleshed out and done because i i would hate if this game is just a demo or whatever so uh, just make your own game I, I that's the thing i don't know how to make games so that's why when you see a game like this you desperately want to nitpick it apart you just be like do this and do that make it the best because like you you can you can tell when i'm generally frightened by a game right this game really started to get under my skin when I heard the little walkie-talkie, and it was just like a sound nearby me in the middle of the night, it's fucking terrifying, you know. So, um, yeah, this was this was very legit, and I uh, I really really liked it. And this is why I, I, the thing with Signal Simulator as well. What I like about Signal Simulator is that it's just that you're alone. It's in the middle of the night, and there's sounds. That's fucking scary. But as soon as you're given a gun. And the aliens start talking, and, you know, objective kill. That's when it falls apart real fucking quick. So, uh, you know, um, yeah, I, I I like this. There's room for improvement, but I would say it's probably the scariest game I've played since, uh, well, Salt Order. You know, Salt Order was very, very scary from the demo disc collection, uh, but uh, I liked it giant potential here and uh absolutely solid game uh, you know i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take a moment here and talk to you about something that's gonna be very interesting um i'm a, maybe maybe i shouldn't say this maybe I, well then again it's it's not that many days left but let's just say on the new site Lord record there's a concept song that's an there's an instrumental piece and it is about what you just saw. All right. I'm not going to tell you more. But, you know, I am inspired by the things that make an impact on me. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, solid game. Solid, solid, solid game. Uh, thoroughly impressed with that one. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Um, I think that uh, if this game once again has a little bit more polish to it, fix it up, tighten it up. Absolutely awesome, man. You know, but uh, hey, everybody, uh, thanks for watching. That was that was a solid experience. Um, shorter than I thought, though. So I still have a little bit more to go. So sit tight. More video games coming up. But uh, yeah, once again, I liked it. Really liked it. Strongly like. You know. You know it. All right. Be right back.